This is Charlie Waller for Boxing Social in association with Betfred. I'm delighted to be joined by Daniel Dubois. Daniel, just witnessed your second round stoppage of Kiyotara Fijimoto. Talk to me about the fight and the stoppage. Um, the fight, well, it was, it was um, sort of, um, he came out cagey. He came out like I was told he was going to move in and trying to be awkward. But I just leveled him up and figured wherever the chin goes, I'm going to throw the shot. And I just let the hands go. And, I got him out there. After the first knockdown, was it kind of, it was the seek and destroy, it looked like you, you knew to go in there and finish the job? Yeah, oh yeah, I needed to just do it, but not rush it and um, take my time and not spoil my work and find that one clean shot, it all takes is one shot, as you know they, they say in the heavyweight division, it takes one punch and that's all you need to land it correctly, you'll get the result. Um, British this year, Commonwealth title this year. Looks like the Europeans going to be next for Joe Joyce. There was obviously some talk um, just after the fight. Is that the fight that you want next? Oh yeah, definitely. Um, if it's if it's the next in line, I'm I'm on that trajectory, you know, in that going in that direction, collecting the belts and that. So if it's international, European, we're we're down for it. I'm more than ready for anyone. Obviously, he's got to come through on the 11th of January against Marco Hook, but how would you see that fight going? Do you, do you expect him to come through unscathed and we get to see you and Joe fight in still the first quarter of the year? Um, you know, Joe's a, Joe's a tough guy. He's a tough lad. And he's, the next fight he's got is going to be against a durable contender and an old pro veteran. So it's no single answer for that one. I think that um, it could come out either way. You know, Joe... Could he outclass you, outlast him and use some old tricks on the book? I don't know. But um, if he comes for it, we'll gladly take him on. OK, so you've obviously got the European title in your, in your sight, sorry. Yeah. Um, I'm sure world titles are also, you're looking at them already. Is it world title in 2020? Is that realistic with all the belts currently being tied up? But you hope you'll get there in the latter end of the year? Yeah, um, I think... Just, just in that heading in that direction and looking at it now, um, just as long as I'm winning and um, looking good doing it, then we'll come what may and be ready for it. It's just, if it's a title or whatever, come what may, I'll be, I'm more than ready for it. Uh, just final question. Um, 2020 is just around the corner. If you could pick three fights that you'd like to see in 2020, what's your Christmas list? What fights do you want to see next year? Um, the best fight and the best. So I don't particularly care who they are, just build the best fight in the best and me being up there in the, in the, in the big lights, and big you know, billboards and everything. So just being at the top of my game at all times and rising to the occasion once again. OK, well, Daniel Dubois, thank you very much for your time speaking to Boxing Social and wish you a very Merry Christmas. Thanks a lot. Merry Christmas, everyone.